Welcome to my channel, The Free Mountains. My name is White Eagle. The name of this video is The Son of Man, Part 1. I would like to explain how the second Logos, or the Christ, descends from the far away Absolute to Tipereth in order to incarnate inside the Initiate and help him or her ascend the second mountain. In order to explain that process, I need to start from the Absolute. Remember, my aim is that the teaching is given in the most simple form for everybody to understand and follow the path in their lives. Also, I want to add that when we enter into Samadhi or meditation, then the messages from our being are given in the most simplest forms. Let's get started. So, for everybody to understand, I will narrate what happened to me one day in the superior worlds. But first, look at this picture of God the Father, Mother, also called Kether. And here is the image. He looks like a grandfather with all the white hair and white beard. Yes? In the astral, I met one day my grandmother, my personal and individual Kether, the Elohim inside Ain Sof, who took a female form. She grabbed my hand and we went for a walk. And here we are, walking. On our walk, my grandmother, Elena, my particular Kether, with the face of my physical grandmother, said to me, I would like you to meet someone special. And so we arrived at this hidden wooden cottage with a river of blue waters running at the back of the house. When we entered, there was a very old lady sitting and looking at me. My grandmother said to the very old lady, This is my granddaughter I told you about. And then Grandmother turned to me and said, This is my mom, A Elohim, inside Ain. That old lady said hello to me and called me by my name, the same as my mom at home does. And I just had hugged her and said, Hola, abuelita. Yes, in Spanish. It means hello, little granny with respect and love, as I was meeting her for the first time. What a lovely house you have. I would like to live here with you among the tall pine trees and the blue waters. Remember that after the second mountain, I was homeless and looking for a new home for my son and I. Master Samael says that Paramartha Sayas are inhabitants of the Absolute. So, spiritually speaking, your center of gravity will be in the Absolute once you ascend the third mountain and knock on the thirteenth Aeon. Now that you heard this story, I will explain the technical part with my own drawing of the Absolute and its parts, but please keep in mind this short story that I have just told you. So here we have the drawing, my drawing of the Absolute, and you can see that there are three rings. The inner ring, yes, the first ring, is called Ain. The second one is called Ain Sof, and the third one is called Ain Sof Aur. Now, we go back to the first ring. Ain, in Ain, we find the A Elohim, as Master Samael calls him or her, and is a Saiti. Yes? Now, Ain, here the first manifestation of Ain is Kether. Yes? In Ain Sof. Kether is an Elohim. He is God the Father, Mother. Yes? The one I show you the picture about. And now, God the Father, Mother, unfolds into the Elohim Chokmah, the Christ. Yes, in 
Ain Sof Aur, and he is the second Logos. And Chokma unfolds into the third Logos, the Holy Spirit. Yes, and here on one corner we have the Logoic Triangle, Kether, the Christ, Chokma, and Bina. Yes, now let's continue. Master Samael says, Ain, the radical zero. Abstract space is the causa causorum of all that is, has been, and will be. Profound and joyful space is certainly the incomprehensible satiety, the ineffable mystic root of the seven cosmos, the mysterious origin of all that we know as spirit, matter, universes, suns, worlds, etc. That, the divine, the space of happiness, is a tremendous reality beyond the universe and the gods. Light which has never been created by any god nor by any man. That which does not have name. Ain, the unmanifested, is uncreated light. The absolute is life free in its movement. Is the supreme reality, is abstract space, which only expresses as absolute abstract movement, limitless happiness, total omniscience. The absolute is uncreated light and perfect plenitude, absolute happiness, life free in its movement, life without conditions, without limits. In the absolute, we pass beyond karma and the gods, beyond the law. To do battle, to struggle, to suffer, to finally liberate oneself, to be lost like a glistening droplet in the ocean of uncreated light, is without doubt the greatest yearning. The Paramarthasayas are little by little exalted and pass far beyond any possible comprehension. Now my words, then satiety, I found it in Google, and according to the etymology, it comes from Latin, se, and it means oneself, the zero, yeah, ain. And paramartasayas are the inhabitants of the absolute. Now the second circle is called ain sof. From all that unknowable, the radical zero emanates at the beginning of any sidereal universe, the Pythagorean monad, the Gnostic father-mother, the Hindu Purusha Prakriti, the Egyptian Osiris Isis, the dual, the Kabbalistic dual protocosmos <coughs> or Adam Kadmon, the Ruach Elohim or divine spirit of the Lord floating above the waters of the first moment of Genesis. The Kabbalah calls this first spiritual emanation of Ain Sof, the ineffable ancient of days, which is the being of our being, the father and mother in us. And I have already shown you this image of the ancient of, of days. Kether, the ancient of days is androgynous, that is, man and woman at the same time the first and the final synthesis of our being. The ancient of days is the most divine first emanation of absolute abstract space. Yes, it emanates from Ain. The ancient of days is the heaven of the heaven, the mercy of mercies, the good of goods, the root of our being, the great wind. We have need of a supreme death and a supreme resurrection in order to have the right to incarnate the Ancient of Days. Only he who has incarnated him has the right to use internally the hair and the beard of the Venerable Ancient. Now my words, this is true, I am a witness of this. When I incarnated the Ancient of Days in the Astral, I saw myself with a long white beard, even though I am a woman, and I kept wondering why do I have this long white beard and my hair has turned all white? 
I was in the presence of my grandmother, who was sitting at a table, and all her children were surrounding her, and listening to her words, and I was among them. Yeah, something like this. That is the image I found, the best I could find to uh, show you. Only in the presence of the angels of death, after having victoriously passed the funeral tests, can we incarnate the Ancient of Days. He who incarnates him is one more little elder in eternity, says Master Samael. And the third circle is called Ain Sof Aur. Each universe of infinite space possesses its own central sun, and the sum of all these spiritual suns constitutes Ain Sof Aur, the protocosmos, the solar absolute. The solar absolute is formed of multiple transcendental divine spiritual suns. Every solar system is governed by one of these spiritual suns. This means that our system of worlds has its own sacred absolute sun, the same as all of the other solar systems in unalterable space. The protocosmos or first cosmos is indefinitely is infinitely sorry divine, ineffable. In it there is not there does not exist any mechanical principle. It is governed by one law, yeah, says the Master. Unquestionably, in the sacred solar absolute, in the central spiritual sun of this system in which we live, move and have our being, there exists no mechanicity whatsoever, and therefore it is obvious that there, are, there reigns the most complete blessedness. Now we have Chokma, the second Logos. Chokma of the Hebraic Kabbalah is the cosmic Christ, the Christus, Vishnu of the Hindus. The second Logos Chokma is love, the Agnus Dei, the sacrificial lamb. It is the fire itself which burns in all creation from the beginning of the world for our salvation. It is fire and underlies the base of all organic and inorganic matter. Solar energy is astral light. Its essence is the Christonic power, which is enclosed within the fecundating pollen of the flower, within the heart of the fruit of the tree, in the glands of internal secretion of animal and man. Christ is wisdom itself is the solar logos whose physical body is the sun christ is the light of the sun the light of the sun is the light of christ the light of the sun is a christonic substance which makes the plant grow and the seed sprout within the dark hardness of the green that substance of the solar logos is enclosed which enables the plant to reproduce incessantly with a glorious, dynamic and active life. Christ is that most pure, ineffable and terribly divine ray. Now, my words, when the initiate finishes the work in the first mountain, then if he or she wants to take the direct path that leads to the Absolute, then the Christ, as a baby, descends and incarnates inside you. Now, Master Samael continues. He says, we must incarnate the Christ in us to be able to ascend to the Father. Nobody reaches the Father but through the Son. In Christ, we are all one. In the Lord, there do not exist differences between one man and another, because in him we are all one. In the world of the Lord, neither individuality nor personality exists. In him, there are no hierarchical differences. He who incarnates him is then he, he, he. Variety is unity. 
We need to put an end to the personality and to the I for the being to be born in us. We have to put an end to individuality. He who lies sins against the Father, who is truth, and he who hates sins against the Son, who is love, and he who fornicates sins against the Holy Spirit, who is chastity. Right? And now the third Logos, the Holy Spirit. Bina is the Holy Spirit, is the third Logos, Lord Shiva of the Hindus who manifests a sexual potency in all that is, has been and will be. The Holy Spirit is that sexual force which we see within the pistils of the flowers, that which is expressed in the creative organs of all living species, the marvelous force without which the universe could not exist. The Holy Spirit unfolds into an, an ineffable woman, this is the Divine Mother clothed in a white tunic and a blue mantle. The Holy Spirit is Shiva, the Divine Spouse of Shakti, the Divine Mother Kundalini. Now my words, the Holy Spirit is male, as Master Samael states. The Holy Spirit is seen in the astral with the face of our physical dad, but he is our Divine Father. He is the husband of the Divine Mother Kundalini, our Divine Mother, who in the astral has the face of our physical mom. Now God in Chokma is everywhere. Kether is individual in each one of us. Bina is individual as well, particular in each one of us. But all three are one. So we need to grasp this with our intuition. And here we have an image of the Divine Father and the Divine Mother, yes, from whose womb will come the Cosmic Christ, yes. Now we continue and I put this uh, diagram and we can see here the first Logos is Kefir, who unfolds into Chokma, the second Logos. Chokma unfolds into Bina and Bina the Holy Spirit also unfolds into his wife, the Divine Mother, yes? And actually, the Divine Mother meets, it says in the writings, in the teachings of the Master Samad, that uh, the Divine Mother meets uh, her husband in Sephira Da, yes? The Holy Spirit fecundated the Great Mother and Christ was born. The second Logos is always the son of the Virgin Mother. She is always Virgin, before the birth, during the birth and after the birth. Yes, watch again video 73. This Virgin has a mysterious mouth in her throat. This is so because the throat, da, yeah, is really the uterus where the word is gestated. The gods create with the larynx. In the beginning was the verb, and the verb was with God, and the verb was God. Yes? The Holy Spirit is the maker of light, and God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Now, from Ain Sof, the super divine atom, emanates Kether, Chokma, and Bina, the crown of life, the resplendent dragon of wisdom and watch that video again uh, 103 about the two dragons in hinduism these three forces are called brahma vishnu and shiva you have this image and this is the end of this video part one and the extracts were taken from the book taro and kabbalah uh, written by master samael Aung Weor. Um, please, if you have just found my video, uh, the videos are numbered, so if you want to understand the path, watch them from video number one, yes, and continue, make your way up. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll bring you video part two very soon.